We got it. Remember, we have way more than 300,000 HP because of our resistance. Double kill. Boom. Is that another Fenrir? Triple kill. Hey guys, what is going on? We are using what I think may be the best overall robot in the game. The Cryptic Fenrir with the Bane in Venom weapons, two heavy armor kits, the Bernadette Wolf Legendary Pilot, and this thing is a tank monster. So here are obviously the new Venom weapons, the last to be released of the acid kind of corrosion. Okay, so we're here on Dreadnought, and this should be a pretty good map to use this on. Because we do have that 350 meter range, but really want to get closer because, you know, the closer you are, the easier it is to aim these weapons. So right off the bat, let's just go straight into the ship on Dreadnought. And remember, we have two heavy armor kits, healing, or advanced healing. Our pilot skill is loaded up, and our Persephone drone has some shielding and defense point boosting things, microchips on it. So, uh-oh, this Hiroshi is going to get smoked in a second. There's three of us here. Boom, right, there we go. We got a kill. So, yeah, I didn't, you know, obviously I couldn't have used this build before the update because the Venom weapons allowed me to complete this build because before I had to just use Igniter and Bane, it was a weird combo. But now we get the full acid combo build and I'm expecting good things from this. Boom, double kill, double kill. Okay, see that Favner, that might be our Achilles heel or our Kryptonite because... It's hard to hit flying Favners with these weapons. Not gonna lie or sugarcoat it. It's tough to hit flying fast moving robots. I mean, Erosha's are one thing, but Favners are another because they can just fly around and completely avoid your fire. But there's obviously a fast reload on these weapons. Oh, can we get this guy? Come on. Come on, we must have gone. Boom, there we go. Triple kill. Triple kill. That Favner. I'm reloading. Oh, come on, we lead him more. Oh, that doesn't help either when he's lagging out. Jeez. So I chose to go two heavy armor kits and one anti-control module just because if you don't run anti-control modules... You're literally getting locked down, suppressed, frozen every time you encounter an enemy. So I think the anti-control module is a very good addition instead of the other third heavy armor kit. Okay, let's push forward here. So you guys probably, you know, you, you've either used or seen videos of the super durable Fenrir. And it is a tank, but now these weapons, this might be the best weapon combo that you could run on the Fenrir. What more could you ask for? This thing has insane durability and resistance. Good firepower. I mean, when you're using your rush mode, the speed's pretty de decent. Uh-oh. Okay, this is a Fenrir. Is he going to come at us? We just melted like a third of his health there, but I think he's... He's running away. He's running away. Okay, we're kind of just patrolling the zone here. Oh, this is the same guy. So this is a Fenrir. You can tell it's a Bernadette Wolf because he does not have a shield around. So it looks like he's running two Atomizer in like a Devastator. Bit of a weird combo build. Oh! He's got reinforcements. Okay, I'm going to try to kill the Fenrir first because one, one at a time. Okay, here we go. So that's a Revenant. That is a Revenant. Can we take him down? Cloaking, cloaking, shielding, la 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 la. Okay, we gotta reload again, reload again. Oh, he's melting. Come on, we got him, we got him. We got him. Remember, we have way more than 300,000 HP because of our resistance. Double kill. Boom. Is that another Fenrir? Triple kill. So we just took out a couple Fenrirs, a Revenant. Whew, we, that was pretty easy. See, out in the open is where this build is the worst because players can kind of almost outrun your weapons, move back and forth. Favners and flying robots are harder to kill. 
We do our best work close range. And it's hard to say itch my nose. Um it's hard to say what the what the best robot is in the game right now because there's a couple different really good options. But I think overall, I'm thinking this Favner is the best. I mean I know you could say the the Favner, Fenner, Favner, they, they sound very similar, but um uh oh. We might die here, but we're just gonna go for it and try to Jeez, we're melting this Al Ming pretty good, but we don't got enough HP. Ah. Okay, this game is actually just about done. We got four cap beacons. Nice. This game is pretty much over. But like I said, there's a couple robots that could be the top robot in the game. But for the overall best, based on like, you know, durability, holding beacons, chasing beacons, firepower, the, the Fenrir... In this particular Bane Venom build might be the best. Okay, so 3.2 million damage. That was only with the Fenrir there. So we're here again on Power Plant. Let's see how this goes. So this is even a smaller map than Dreadnought. All close range. So taken. We just did 3.2 million damage with only this Fenrir build on the last game. So one robot dealing 3.2 million damage. Some would say that's pretty decent. It's not like Sharanga shotgun damage, but it's pretty darn good. And remember, the Fenrir, I mean, it's its obviously at its best just pushing beacons and walking down and holding beacons because it's so hard to kill. So damage is kind of almost, boom, there we go. Damage is almost, it's like kind of secondary skill. It's first is just being an, a monster truck house tank. <laughs> uh oh hawk hawk above uh oh okay he's dropping he's dropping oh okay let's grab this beacon grab the beacon okay boom we grabbed the what was once a beach beacon now it's like the ocean beacon see when you have your uh, your heavy weapon down and you're in rush mode your speed's actually pretty decent like look how fast we're moving for a fat old tank Fenrir okay we're pushing forward here enemy team has three beacons I think that's a glitch on beacon D I can tell you what though whether this Fenrir build is the best build in the game or not it, I think, is definitely the best build to kill, um, hold on, uh, I'm just distracted here. Hold on, let's kill this Hiroshi, one sec. Oh, lag. Boom, kill. It's definitely the best build to kill shell bots in Revenants. Because, oh, here's a Revenant. Because their shielding means absolutely nothing. You go right through it and corrode. So the shielding is pretty much pointless. I got some support here. And then my teammate... There we go. Oh, it looks like we got suppressed. We got hit extra. Boom, double kill. That leech, dead. Okay, so we were getting suppressed. I guess we got suppressed by more than one person. Okay, okay. Uh-oh. Here's a Fabner. This is our toughest test. Yeah, see, now he's going back. He knows. He knows that it's hard for us to hit him. Okay, reload, reload. Oh, I'm trying to lead. Oh, I'm suppressed right now, too. Darn it. Boom. Finally, there we go. See how difficult that is to hit the Fabners? That's the weak part, or the kryptonite of this build, is hitting Favners. It may take them three minutes to take you down, but they can do it. Man, we're getting a five cap on this team. Look at this team. They have three titans. Well, I guess they only have three players left. We've been mecking them out pretty much. They have three titans, and they're all kind of just sitting back there. Um, let's just drop our Minos here. 
This game looks like it's just about over though. They're not pushing beacons. They got two players left. And we're crushing them on the beacon bar. What is that, a behemoth? And here are cinder weapons. I'm starting like the cinder weapons more and more. They're just, they're very unique. All right, there we go. We got the win. So man, those were two pretty dominant games for our team, but I mean, most of this damage was done with Defender again. 1.8, man, pretty short game. But overall, guys, so man, this Venom Bane Fenra build, you guys tell me. I think it's definitely one of the top ro builds in the game. It's either this build or the Sonic build on Defender, honestly. I, which I think are the best two builds in the Fenrir. So, I don't know, do you prefer the Sonic weapons or these weapons? The bad part about the Sonic weapons is you can't really break through those shields on Revenants and Shellbots as easily. And even though the reload, you know, you have to reload your weapons quite often with these weapons. I mean, it's a fast reload. And look, I'm just melting. And you have the corrosion. That was a massive amount of corrosion. But thanks for watching the video, guys. That is the Bane Venom Fenrir. Is it the top build in the game, excluding Titans? Let me know. Until next time, peace. See you guys in the next video.